using GetResponse to automate your email marketing step-by-step -step tutorial 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about GetResponse and how you can use it to do great email marketing for yourself. So it's going to be a pretty fun and pretty easy tutorial. So please do make sure to stay tuned and watch this video till the end and listen to all the information I have to provide you so you can properly learn how to, you know, use all all of this so without further ado let's get straight into it now basically what we're gonna do is uh, obviously first of all let's go ahead and discuss the pricings because you know that's an essential that's something that uh, you know we should start off with so get response pricing and plans obviously let's go with the monthly plan there we are so the good thing about get response is that it gives you a totally free plan like there's no trial or anything it's a proper free plan so that's a good thing about get response and the other good thing is uh, you know that it has tons and tons of features like it doesn't discriminate between the plans it gives you a lot of good features even in the free plan so as you can see in the free plan you can get up to 500 contacts and it includes 2500 newsletters one landing page website builder you can connect your domain you have sign up forms and pop-ups and all that stuff then you know there's email marketing it's $19 per month, AI email generator, unlimited newsletters, unlimited landing pages, you have website builder, basic segmentation, autoresponders, then you have marketing automation, which is known as a top choice in this case. It's $59 per month, and it, you know, has event-based automations, webinars, advanced segmentations, contact scoring, sales funnels, and all that. So basically, obviously, we're gonna be going ahead and creating a free account for ourselves, so let's go with that. Now, once we are over here, obviously, I'm gonna be using a temp mail for my email, but you can obviously go ahead and uh, use a Gmail for yourself. I'm only using a temp mail because I know that I'm going to be uh, scraping this account later on. So yeah, now what I'm going to do, you're just going to sign up. Okay, pretty simple sign up process. Just uh, add all your information and, you know, just uh, create an account. Now, once you're into, you know, create an account, uh, it's pretty simple from there on out, to be honest, because um, all you need to do from there is just, you know, understand how, you know, the whole marketing aspect of this actually works. And uh, again, here we go. Add all your information from there on out, create account. And uh, obviously you can see over here, you have uh, different things to grow your business, like email marketing, advanced segmentation, AI powered stuff and all that. So once you're into, you know, the sign up thing, thanks for signing up. We've sent an activation email. Now, once you've done that, you can obviously just click on go to Gmail. And uh, once you click on go to Gmail, as you can see, it loads you up straight into Gmail. And look at that. It loads you straight into the inbox where it sends the activation. That's a cool thing to have, in my opinion, in your arsenal. Now, once you're over here, as you can see, it loads you in and there you are. So I was going to say welcome to all of this. You're going to go ahead and add all the essentials for your company. So your company name, address, zip, your, you know, all that stuff. And once you do that, you're going to click on next step. And here we are. So what do you want to focus on first? So obviously I want to focus on, you know, building an audience or sending an email. I'm going to go with building an audience, click on next step. Now you can also, you know, you can prefer to explore on your own. I'm going to do that. And once we're over here, here we are. Hi, John, let's get you set up with try to entry essentials that will help you grow your business. So it gives you, you know, all these steps that you can, you know, create for yourself. So create a sign up page for yourself. Okay. For your users, uh, create a welcome autoresponder test your sign up process and check contacts report. Okay, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, I'm just going to, you know, start discussing the main things about get response. Now, the first thing that we need to discuss is obviously the context, because obviously, if you don't have context, then you can't really send email to anyone. Okay, so first of all, you have your contacts, so you can create a contact list for yourself. And for that, first of all, you're going to have to create a custom list. So you're going to go over here. And uh, I'm just going to, you know, add something random. And once you do that, I'm going to click on create. And accordingly, it's going to create a list for you. There you are. So your free account has a limit of 500 contacts. So once you create a list, now you're going to click on add contacts contacts and once you click on add contacts obviously over here it says expand your contact database so choose your list there we are i've chosen my list how do you want to add contacts one by one manually or upload a file using an external service or you know paste rows i'm going to show you what this file thing looks like okay now you can do it one by one manually but you know that it's really like it takes a lot of time to add all the contacts one by one manually and you know adding all their data and stuff so i wouldn't personally recommend that i just recommend you know adding all your contacts in a excel file and then you know downloading accordingly so this is my excel file that i've just created as an example you know you have email first name phone creation 
uh, gender and uh, you have their you know data under it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the CSV file and I'm going to paste it here. Now, once it's here, click on next and look at that. It adds the information accordingly, you know, writes the headers, writes the data. And once that is done, click on import. And once you click on import, obviously it's going to import your contacts. So we're importing your contacts. This can take a moment and say, OK, I got it. And there you are. So that's how you're going to add context. Then comes your email marketing. Okay, I'm going to click on that and let's discuss this aspect. Let me just wait for this to load up. Once this loads up, obviously over here, you can start creating your campaigns and stuff. So first of all comes your newsletter. Keep contacts in the loop with one time emails. Share exciting news about new products or send an invitation to join a loyalty plan. You can send your newsletter right away when you have an important announcement or schedule it to send a perfectly timed reminder. You know, so once we do that, let's go ahead and click on create newsletter. Here we go. So how do you want to create your email? It could be by myself or with an AI email generator. Uh, now, mostly people would go with an AI email generator, but you can do it for yourself. I would prefer doing it myself, to be honest, because I like to you know, do things myself. So you can, you know, keep a name for your email. Once you do that, uh, from email address, you know who it's from reply to, you know, you can choose who they want the people could reply to, you know, choose a good subject line. Once you choose a subject line, then you choose the recipients. Who do you want to reach with this message? So, you know, add the names of the recipients, add the number of them. So, you know, you can choose it from the list that you have. So let's say this list, these are the people that I have. I'm going to add them and then you have design and content. So this is basically, you know, the template of the design that you're going to choose. So, you know, choose any of these. They all look pretty good. So you can, you know, use any of these templates. And once you've used them, you know, you uh, you can also uh, they have a great drag and drop editor so you can drag and drop mess around with this. And once you've done that, you're just going to click on next. And then you have two options, either send it immediately or schedule for later. So I'm going to keep it on send immediately and then just click on send message. And there you go. Your email campaign was just created and you're going to, you know, market it around, send it to people. And yeah, that's about it. So that's all there is when it comes to get response and how you can use it for, you know, the ultimate great email marketing experience. So uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.